Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. Okay, so where we left off, I defeated the Bogmire boss, and I just defeated my, the latest gallery ghost I defeated is that, that granny ghost. So now I'm gonna go to the next uh, door, which is basically right close by. I would just like to say that I apologize for my for the fourth part of the series that it was kind of glitchy. I have no idea why it's glitchy, but apparently um, uh, it just happened. So I, I have no idea why, but other than that, it's kind of a rare occur occurrence. So I just hope it just doesn't uh, happen again. Anyway, what I'm looking for is that blue ghost. I know he's somewhere. Yes. Haha! I got it! Wait, wait, wait. Please, please, please don't want to disappear. Got it. Nice. Alright, so I got the money, so now I could do this. For some reason you have to do you have to do that and then they'll show up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide and seek with us? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, let's play. Yay! Okay, we're gonna hide now. Wait outside. Okay, you can come in now. Here's a fun <laughs> Here's a funny thing about this level. Apparently, I actually didn't know how to do this. I had no idea that if you wanted to find the twins, that you just basically vacuum, and whichever box shakes is where they're hiding, basically. So, before, when I when I actually did this, apparently I just had to guess. And normally if you guess wrong, then you have to start all over. But, um, I never, I never really did the, the vacuuming thing, so I basically kept on doing this until I got it right, and I actually kind of did. But the thing was that, like, obviously I was doing it the long and tedious way, rather than just doing it, doing it this way. And that also explains why, when you basically do this, they actually say that uh, you were cheating. For, and for some reason it's not, it's not shaking. Oh, okay, there we go. I didn't see it. Yeah, so... Hey, that's not right. Play fair, cheater. So that's why they say that, because now they saw what I was doing. And of course, I have to first get rid of this one, because he's like driving on ground. Fuck. That bomb was a direct hit, but the point was I already got that coin, so... Not dropping any pearls, I'm assuming the last one would drop pearls. I got this one, so now I'll focus on that one. Oh fuck, my, my thumb is not. Oh, it's like. Ah oh, fuck! My thumb wasn't on a good position. That's why. It wasn't a perfect suck, but hey, what can you do? Anyway. Oh, shit. I don't want to suck up that bomb. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright. You found Mario's shoe. It smells like Mario's feet. God damn it. That's fucking nasty. Ah, fuck. What was I... I meant to, to to tap on that dart thing. Fuck. All right. I gotta now find it. Fucking blue ball. Come on. Where is it? Call me Boris Unbarade, whatever he's saying, I don't know. Okay, now I went to Chauncey's room. At least the room, this area is lit, so 
Even if he does run away, it's pretty much impossible. There we go. Oh yeah, I have a special bit of information for you. You've seen some small ghosts other than the boos, haven't, haven't you? Well, I'm pretty sure they're ghosts freed from the paintings of the ghost artist Van Gore. I had, I had a pass them. So wait, that's literally... What? No, no, no. It's Van Gore, not Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> I have I had a passel of trouble the first time I captured him. I know that artists strive to give life to their canvases, but this guy brought ghosts to life every time he picked up a brush. Okay, now send me the boo and all they have got. So of course this explains where those minor ghosts came from, because apparently that one particular gallery ghost that King Boo freed happened to be the creator of a few like mid like ghost minions I would say the minor ghosts so that's how they came up in the first place because of him and when you defeat him you basically uh, defeat all the minor ghosts because now you you destroy their creator basically anyway uh just checking from uh here we go that's exactly what I was trying to do all right and, okay, I got Mario's shoe, so that means now I have to go to another room that doesn't have a locked door. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, anyway, now that I've done that, now I want to focus on this video about free speech and stuff. I already talked about the James Damore, uh, thing, which I might talk about a little bit more on, on this video. Uh, and then I'll also talk, explain more about the Masterpiece Cake Shop case. But first I would like to mention about the James Damore thing. So apparently the Young Turks did do another video about, I was checking if there's coins in there, but I'm not gonna do any more of that. I just like grabbing stuff. Anyway, so apparently the Young Turks did do a video about Damore suing Google. And unfortunately it's not, it's just filled with complete utter bias and stuff. Now I'm fine with them voicing skepticisms because like, I'm not expecting them to agree on everything. Um, like such as like you know the the booze and, and stuff happening in Google and I'm pretty sure it did happen but I'm fine with them like not going along with it like after all like just you know different uh, opinions and stuff the thing that bothered me about this video is that uh, apparently like they haven't really done a lot of research into the lawsuit and stuff and just base it off of um, like basically just what they want uh, to show like to show from their biases rather than what's actually true like for an example they um, As a fat girl instead of the oh shit. I forgot. I need ice for this part. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll just keep on talking so uh, Like for instance, they basically complained about him complaining of the diversity hiring program when they said of course that they went through it and it wasn't that bad. Now, of course, I could take that with a grain of salt, considering that maybe what they went through was pretty reasonable and stuff compared to what Demore went through, but had they watched the part in the Dave Rubin interview, he literally explained about that diversity uh, program where it was nothing but just, you know, bashing on, like, you know, white males and, or basically just uh, white privilege and stuff rather than, like, anything you know, uh, that makes sense, or, or something. I don't know what you really do in a diversity uh, program thing, so honestly for me I have no idea, but what he's talking about is pretty legitimate uh, complaint. Now, I'm not really going to link the Dave Rubin part because it's like pretty long, but how I discovered it was from this YouTuber that I actually regularly watch named Computing Forever. He did a video about this, and I forgot to scan her. <laughs> Well, basically what she says is just, ah, piping hot water. So basically that's, that, that's what she actually said. Okay, now I can scan her again. I mean, just for you guys, if you want. Ah, shit. Okay, good, good, good. Got it. All right. Ah, uh, piping hot shower. Okay, shower, not water. Fuck. Anyway. So about what I was saying, so, oh shit, sorry about that. Um, I'll link to you guys the Computing Forever video on this subject. It's about the Silicon Valley and feminism. 
I figured to just show you guys this uh, because it contains that part that Damore was talking about the diversity program uh, issue that the Young Turks just kind of scoffed at, basically. So, and another, uh, so basically, um, what I'm trying to say is this video just didn't really do justice on the Demore subject. I'm not saying they, they should completely go with him, but they should have at least said everything factual about this thing and voiced their opinion on it, and I'll be fine with that. But of course, their bias, their biases went, you know, uh, went against that basically. Anyway, oh, okay, so it's the bottom part. So, but even, so I basically didn't like the video, but at least they did cover on that topic, so I'll still link you guys to that, to that video, basically, so, for you guys to check out. And another thing I'd like to voice about this, about this is that I kind of find it hypocritical that apparently the left usually claim they're against big corporations and for the little, the little guy, yet we have a, we have a, a, per, a person that was literally fired from his job based on like, you know, just a few ideas he wanted to share. And the left is just all of a sudden for Google and against him, which I find hypocritical because like I said, they're supposed to be, they claim they, so they're against big corporations. Well, there's a big corporation that's basically against, you know, uh, the little guy, I would say. Oh wow, I've always wanted one of these. Fuck, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Yeah, when he stops, then I can scan. Hold on. There we go. You want some of this? And that's the- oh fuck, 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 come on. Cause these balls start flying everywhere. I'm just gonna wait for them to disappear so then I could restart this. Okay, there we go. So, that's a hypo hypocrisy on the left itself. What, what else would I want to say? Uh, let me think. I'll think while I do this. I'm trying to like make sure I say everything, so then I can move on to the to the masterpiece cake shop case. Did I strike him? I thought that was supposed to disappear. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, okay, it's working. His head's bobbing down. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, yeah. Also, uh, so and I now know what to what to say. Uh, basically, okay. So about this whole I issue of the of basically firing someone based on their views or what they said. Of course, the, I understand that the First Amendment only covers the government, not. Oh God, wait. So yeah, fuck it. This one's more important. Come on, come on. Don't disappear. Hold on. Did he just disappear? Oh, there he is. Ah, fuck. I'm not going to leave until I get that blue ghost. Please God, come on. Oh shit. I'm just doing this. Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? Yeah, it's not worth it. Sorry. I'm so sorry about this. That's not what I wanted to do. Or I had no idea Blue Ghost was here, so... Anyway, okay, so as I was saying about the free speech case, so basically what the First Amendment does, I understand that it prevents the government from, like, arresting the person or doing s certain consequences to that person, but it doesn't protect companies from doing this. But honestly, I actually support revising a new law that would prevent companies from 
firing someone based on their political beliefs or certain controversial ideas. Main reason why is because if, say, Google had its way, and thus, like, you know, uh, that they, that James Damore loses the case, whether it's from that lower court that he's, that's the, Sa the Santa Barbara court or the Supreme Court, then, then, then that sets a certain, like, you know, uh, effect that now, like, companies can still, like, you know, fire someone based on what they would say, rather than, his name is Boohoo, I know, rather than, like, you know, just having certain, like, you know, diverse ideas to challenge the company or introduce new solutions, basically. Because the thing that I'm worried about is that this would give companies free reign to basically fire anyone based on, like, you know, certain things that they wish to improve upon. And that basically then, like, you know, prevents said company from improving themselves, um, from improving themselves based on the on the ideas from the worker, basically. Because if you want a company to to flourish, you have to have certain new ideas. That includes, you know, listening, you know, to like controversial ideas, like. And if, if they seem legitimate, then you just act on it. And if you don't like it, then you just don't follow it. So I would have been fine if Google like just ignored this that manifesto outright, but then they shouldn't fire the, the more, you know. He'd still be hired. Then I'd be fine with it. Um, I would, of, of course, what the more offered was... Uh, yeah, I, I missed those dollars because I had no idea they were there in the first place. Uh, so... You know, I would have preferred they follow what Demore is suggesting, but if they don't, then that's fine. But if they, if they like, if you fire a person based on their differing opinion or idea, then like I said, as I said one more time, then it prevents, you know, it, it prevents people from sharing their own ideas for fear that they themselves might get fired. That's what I'm saying. So, there you go. I listed... I listed everything about the James Damore issue. Fuck, and I missed that guy. Um, and I, I, want, I just wonder what, what you guys think. Do you agree with this or not? Like, list it on the comments below. This is all about debate. And, like, you know, changing different opinions. That's what, is, that's what this is all about. Ah, shit. Also, I guess another thing I'll just point out one more time is that I really, like, wish that Google board would fire the guy that fired him, Sundar Pachi, because he's just a huge SJW. And another thing, add on to that, also fire the person that's in charge of YouTube, since, of course, you know, she's also a huge SJW and, like, has the, the bullshit copyright shit. Hire someone that's pro- free speech for this- for this channel. So in other words, fuck the person in charge of YouTube and just fire her and have someone else in charge of YouTube. Specifically though, someone that has a, like, a libertarian view on free speech. Mm -hmm. And I have to go after that boo now. Hmm. The more free speech, the better. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'm guessing it's another Mario item. It's Mario's glove. I knew it. We found Mario's glove. Ew, it's a little sweaty. God damn. Oh, good. Oh, wait, I'm already from the boat. Can't believe I missed some of the stuff back there. But then again, that's what happens when you're talking about political stuff. So I guess I'm officially, like, I think I'm done talking about the Demore issue. I might talk about it a little bit more, like, you know, uh, later if, some, if something else comes up. Who knows? Um... 
So, okay, so now what I want to move on to next, let me actually check something. Ah, uh, I have one more item. So, let me first... One more. Yeah, I have to do the star room now. Hmm, but I need water. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. 